I just built my AI agent using open source tools, completely local for zero dollars, and it is using OpenAI GPT OSS 20 billion model. Using the AI self host kit from NA10, Docker, and GPT OSS with 20 billion parameters, right on my own PC. But here is the catch it took me 11 minutes to generate one HTML page. Can regular PC handle this kind of AI? Is it even worth it if your fans are sound like a jet engine? I tested it all so you don't have to. We are using GPT OSS 20 billion model. Let's dive in and see how you can launch your free local AI agent using the latest models. I'm very excited now. I want to use this self-hosted AI starter kit to build a new instance of NA10 in my Docker and to try to use GPT OSS with using the Olama model to build an AI agent which is going to be fully local and it's going to cost me zero dollars to run and I'm going to try to run 20 billion model first because my PC is not that powerful and after that I can download and try to run 120 billion model it's 65 gigabytes so we will see if my PC is gonna be able to handle it. Okay, let's get started. Let's install first this uh, self-hosted AI kit. So in NA10IO, they have already included in their GitHub self-hosted AI starter kit, which is repo that installing automatically self-hosted NA10 or Llama, which is a platform for LLM. This is the platform. You can search models and you can install them locally on your PC, all of the open source models. Quadrant, which is a vector database like Pinecone or Superbase and PostgreSQL which is a database model as well. Let's start going step by step so I'm going to install it for first time like this. Let's see how it's going to go. We're going to use this self-hosted AI starter kit from NA10 and let's come down. We have to use this one because I'm with NVIDIA GPU running NA10 using Docker Compose. I'm going to use this one and let's go to my folders and I have created a folder in my hard drive now I'm just gonna click here and write CMD and it's gonna open the terminal in this folder and I will copy now from the website I'm gonna copy these commands one by one I'm gonna paste them into the terminal let's start I'll paste this it's gonna clone the re repo okay we are ready copy this copy this second command come and paste it we are in the folder now now it says you should update secrets and password inside let's see what does it mean let's go to the folder this dot emv example let's edit in notepad na10 encryption key postgre password database na10 super secret key we can put some key we can change this key and we can change this key as well but for the sake of this video let's keep them as it is it is gonna be a local host i'm not gonna open it uh, public use now so we are ready to go. Uh, come to the website and in the website, copy the third command and co go to terminal, paste it. And it says CP as not recognized as an internal or external command. Let's see what it is in chat GPT. I'm just pasting the error to chat GPT and let's see. So copy and V, let's copy this command, go to terminal, paste it. Okay, it is ready now. Let's go to the website again. And now Docker Compose Profile NVIDIA GPU. Copy, terminal and paste it. And let's see what it's gonna do in our Docker. It has to create new Docker containers here. And hopefully any of the ports are not gonna be overlapping. Now it's gonna pull all of the images of Olama, Olama GPU, Quadrant, Postgre, and NA10 and it's going to install them. After the installation is complete, I'm going to come back. Okay, it says success and in our Docker container, we can see self-hosted AI kit, Quadrant, Olama, Postgre and NA10 are already installed and I have to be able to access them. Let's see in localhost, we can click this one and it's going to open our NA10. Let's just put our email, uh, fill the form with our details. And they have included a demo workflow already in with a Llama chat model. And we can choose Llama because this is the only model that it's pulled in and installed in our Docker container. So in order to, uh, let's try if it's working. Open chat, let's say hello. Fallback subnode must be connected or enabled. Oh, okay. Because it's using the old node, this is why the fallback model is connected. Let's delete this and use an AI agent. Connect the chat, connect the model, and now it's good to go. 
Hello. Okay, we have our answer. So we are ready to go. Let's see our memory if we can choose PostgreSQL. Postgres chat memory. Credentials. Localhost, Postgre, Postgre, password. So let's see in the self-host AI what they're going to say. Quick start and usage. Okay, we are there. Open chat button. Okay, the database is running on port 5432. So I think 5432, everything is ready here. And we don't have a password. Cannot connect with these settings. Localhost. 5432 let's say user database password okay postgre user root so we have to use this let's go to any 10 user root database postgres password password is password let's copy it and let's try again no database na10 <laughs> let's put na10 here database na10 save no just say localhost no let's put this in chat gpt and put the screenshot of this or just copy so i saying i want to connect postgresql to my na10 these are the fields to fill and paste the fields we're using docker network so let's try postgres okay it worked so it has to be host postgres database na10 user root and password password they are taken from here and also chat gpt said if we are using docker we have to use postgres not localhost okay now let's see if our postgres memory is working table name na10 chat histories content length let's say 20 and let's see if it's gonna have a memory okay i'm afraid i have to connect you the traditional but however it's worth uh, nothing that in some alternative number systems okay but within standard okay then and we can see that this chat mo memory is working let's ask it what was my first input what was my first input in this chat remember this okay now our memory is working now let's try gpt oss if we're gonna be able to run it with our agents so now i have to go, go to docker and inside the docker container of na10 or let me ask chat gpt how i can pull the image to uh, to be able to access it from here how we can pull new model here let's ask chat llama is running okay it says find olama container name we have to go to do something like okay let's go to terminal and see okay, our terminal is here it says to write docker ps olama latest and what does it say we have to see something like olama exec into the container okay docker exec it olama olama pool gpt oss but we're gonna use the other command we're gonna paste this and we're gonna go to olama's web page and we're gonna click 20 billion parameters and just copy this come to the terminal and instead of pulling oss only we're gonna write oss 20b okay let's run it okay it start pulling it after the download i'm gonna come back okay and we are back after around two three minutes and our gpt oss is already installed let's see now if olama is gonna show it in na10 let's refresh this page let's save it and refresh okay come to the model and we can see gpt oss 20 billion parameters okay let's test it now hello let's test how quick it's gonna answer i can hear my fans are going crazy now <laughs> okay it took around minute and a half <laughs> to get my answer to my hello <laughs> with my pc i think this is not gonna be so efficient to run let me show you my pc stats so these are my parameters i7 14th generation i have ram 32 gigabytes and i run on rtx 2060 in my pc this is how it's run let's ask it to make something more complicated let's ask it to create an html page for example okay let's see how long it's gonna take now it's 11:43. and we have our answer after 11 minutes so let's see we have our css here all of our html everything how to customize it okay let's copy this html and see how it would look to see if it's worth it to wait for 11 minutes <laughs> just 
happy you need to not lose it now because it's really precious after 11 minutes just to get html generate html template and here in the template put this html here and just copy it from here copy let's paste it let's execute the step to see let's just put it in one text file and make it an html to see it on big screen let me make it okay let's open one empty text file just paste everything and save it and this is the landing page how it would look it looks really good though we have a subscribe button it is suggesting some link that we can see down in the left corner here our banner ai powered automations welcome to ai driven and we can put our featured videos here about i'm not mario torres but <laughs> anyway it's really good okay but so in the end it is a really good model in my opinion because they say it is even better than o3 mini in coding but you have to have really good pc or to pay a powerful cloud to host it and be able to use it efficiently if you have a powerful pc you can do a lot of things with this for now this is only local because in docker we can see that these ports are open only in our local host but as i shown in one of my videos you can make them publicly available using ngrok you just have to go to docker compose file here when you edit it in notepad you can see all of the environmental variables of every service that we're gonna run and then here you can add any 10 you can add the variables from the video that i'm showing how to local host you're adding your ngrok url your and you're making tunnel with ngrok to this port to this na10 port which which is which is this one five six seven eight and instead of local host then you have to rerun the container so before installing you have to remove all of these containers and the images you have to delete them and when you change the docker compose file you have to redo the steps for installing the whole package and then it's going to install it but instead of local host here it's going to be your na10 webhook link and your ngrok static domain and you're going to be able to use this local hosted na10 with your agents with your olama if you have a powerful pc with gpt oss you're going to be able to access it use webhook as long as your pc is turned on you're going to be able to use all of the programs that are installed in this package olama na10 postgres chat memory quadrant for example for quadrant vector store uh, you have to first insert documents and for embeddings you're going to use olama again to be locked and default loader so this is going to be run for free this is free this is free and na10 is free so you're going to be able to run agents for zero dollars and you can connect agents to brainstorm 24 7 for your ideas or just to code something to generate html so if you connect them to get feedback from them they're gonna be able to get free feedback from each other and uh, revise critique each other and then create new HTMLs, new websites or new code even they can generate a game for example with javascript it's gonna be really interesting but i think i have to buy a new powerful more powerful pc from this and yeah this is gonna be it for this video i was just really hyped to show you how you can use new chat gpt model which is really smart and powerful in your pc i was telling in the beginning of the video that i'm gonna try the 120 billion model but with 20 billion model it took me 13 14 minutes to get one html file with the 120 i think my hello is gonna take me 30 minutes to get an answer so yeah try it on your pc it's really good and it's really interesting how this ai things are upgrading so quick please make you like subscribe and see you in the next video thank you